This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! We can finish the end of the day, I think. I lay on the couch and I stayed there dazed for a while. My mind was completely blank. I couldn't think about anything for more than a few seconds. There was a note in my house saying that mom and dad would be home late and that I should have some ramen or something for dinner. I could make it whenever I got hungry, but I had no appetite. I just stared blankly at the ceiling without eating anything. We can't call her because we don't have a number! The hands of the clock were already pointing at ten. I guess we could call Mion. Would I get another phone call like that today? Even though Shion had already disappeared? Would she still call me? Where were they calling from? And who were they? You should call Mion. The more I thought about it, the more I started to tremble. I even thought about just disconnecting the phone line. If I had been thinking a little less logically, I really would have done it, too. Hold on, Keiichi Maribara. Luisi-san admitted it himself, didn't he? That Shion went missing a lot? Couldn't she have just gone to relatives that Luisi-san didn't know about and have been there ever since? Shion and I were both being targeted by somebody, so it wouldn't be strange to think that she went somewhere she usually didn't in order to hide. That must have been why Luisi-san couldn't locate her, and why he labeled her a disappearance. So, I know, I was going to sl I was going to end it right there! I was literally planning to end it the next time we got, like, a fade to black or, like, a to-be-continued thing. But, no, I gotta know a little bit more. Yeah, that had to be it. Shion hadn't disappeared at all. Yeah, then my right hand moved of its own volition and slapped me on the cheek. It's cold stain. Let me calm down a little. I knew I didn't want to admit she had disappeared. Admitting it would mean that something terrifying was definitely happening. I just needed to figure out whether Shion was the one on the phone or not. Would I ask her if she was actually Shion? That seemed like an incredibly absurd thing to do. If the person on the other end still believed that I thought she was Shion, then that gave me a tiny advantage. Casually, completely casually, I would listen to what she had to say. And fend her off. I would tear the skin off the monster. It would definitely be really scary for me. However, as the last survivor of the people who went into the storehouse that night, this was my duty to perform. Still, then who? Who would call me and pretend to be Shion? I may have only heard her over the phone, but her voice shouldn't be that easy to replicate. I know! Man, like, Dan, it's amazing! Like, so many of the visual novels I play, like, there's a lot of stuff in them where it's just like, this is so cringy, why is this in here? But then when it gets good, it's so gripping and so good. <laughs> that was definitely Shion's voice. It sounded just like her. It could only have been Shion. There was someone, though, wasn't there? Someone who sounded just like Shion. Mion. Mion. Who else could have done this? At this point, seriously, after all this time, all those little things that didn't quite make sense about Mion until now overwhelmed my mind. Like being questioned about sneaking into the ritual storehouse, and how she shook the ladder while spouting curses. Who else... Who else could have? Why, though? Why would Mion? I thought back to the things about the Sonozaki family that I had heard from Uisi-san and Shion. Mion was always entangled in the incidents, in a position where she was omnipotent. Some of that information included things that Shion had told me after she disappeared. I madly scratched at my head. Courage. Give me the courage. Just a little bit of courage to pick up the phone. I know it'll ring tonight. It would be so easy to run away. That, though, would be the same as making it easy for them to erase me. I cannot run. I must stand up and face it. After all, the next sacrifice would definitely be me. I was sure Shion would use tricky words to try and trap me. Be careful. Be careful. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. 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 Yep. Yeah, he's spiraling a bit. At that point, it rained. The phone rang, and I didn't know where the call was coming from. Shion had disappeared. Disappeared a long time ago. Disappeared the night after Watanagashi. Yet, until today, she had been calling me like nothing happened. Now again, tonight, the people had disappeared. Their corpses simply hadn't been found. I really didn't think they were alive. So if it really was Shion on the other end, then did that mean she was calling me from another world? 
Of course, that couldn't be. A living being was calling me, pretending to be Shion. Shion was long gone. And yet, as though she were alive and well, the phone continued its incessant ringing. I didn't want to pick up if I didn't have to. I had just concluded, though, that not doing anything, doing so would, would not solve anything. Then, what would I do after I answered it? Would I immediately declare she wasn't Shion and ask who she was? Alternatively, would I pretend I was still fooled to try to grab her by the tail? What I was most afraid of was the person on the phone, what they would do when they realized I knew she wasn't Shion. However, as long as I continued to let her think I was fooled, she wouldn't do anything extreme, right? If I just made sure to be careful, that should be the safest option. I've made up my mind. I'll answer the phone. Once I do that, I'll talk to her as if nothing happened. That wasn't all I'd do this time, though. I'd scope her out. Who was she? What was she thinking? And what was she after? Why is she doing this? Was she really the one who killed Tomatake and Takano? What happened to the mayor? What happened to Rika and Satoko? Yeah, Rika probably knew something was up. I reached out for the receiver, my arm trembling. There were too many things I wanted to know. Too many things I wanted to ask. I was scared. I should start by picking up the phone. Pick it up, Keiichi. Pick it up, Keiichi! Mo mo -si. Oh, how relieved I would have been if it hadn't been a call from Shion. Uh, My momentary convenient and above all fleeting prediction was ripped into a thousand pieces. I couldn't help shaking at this point. Get ready for this. なかなか出なかったんで、お留守かと思って切ろうとしてたんですよ。な、ああ、ごめん。ちょっとそのお風呂に入っててさ。それでもご家族の方が電話を取りませんか？Uh-oh. I failed. I let her in on a fatal piece of information, one that I was currently the only one in my house. いや、別に留守ってわけじゃ。そ、そんなことより聞いたが、リカちゃんとサトコの件。いえ、結局あの後どうなったんですか？見つかったんですか？ああ、見つからなかった。ケイちゃん、どうか気を落とさないで。If if we see San hadn't let me know, then I might have allowed myself to shed a tear or two at Shion's considerate words. Instead, now that it had come to this. I couldn't take her words at face value. This person on the other end of the receiver. The more perfect a Shion they were, the more my blood curdled in fear. Rika-chan and Sadoko were killed. Yes. That's not a mistake. Just how cruel and grave a meaning did those words hold. Their weight astonished me. And then a moment later, I was overcome with numbness and felt like I would pass out. I'd asked if Arika and Satoko had been kidnapped. Shion, in turn, had answered that there wasn't much doubt. That cruel meaning behind her words. Rika-chan and Satoko... Ah, yeah... Eh, to... Ah, sorry. Son... Son-chan-san was... How did you get hurt? I'm getting real nervous right now. I'm still alive, right? What happened to Rika and Satoko after they were kidnapped? That's what I wanted to ask, but I frantically caught myself. Like, I feel like this is the final boss confrontation right here. <laughs> what if she had given the question a terrifying response in such a way to sound like it had nothing to do with her? I was scared of that, so I immediately brought up the mayor. That said, however much I talked about the mayor... Oi, oi! So many the world started to bend so much that I almost lost my balance. The scenery in my eyes whirled around and around like the hands of a clock and tried to swallow me whole from below. I frantically put a hand on the wall to support myself. A moment later, a severe nausea welled up within me. How was she saying such things so lightly? What is this music? 
何だと思ってやがるんだ恐ろしいことだとは思いますが多分そうではないかと The mayor was killed? Then did that mean the same had happened to Rika and Satoko? No, no, that couldn't. They weren't some random old man! It was Rika! It was Satoko! They, they couldn't. They couldn't kill them so readily. <laughs> Those were the words I wanted to hear the least. And I fought them back with a scream of my own. Even though it wouldn't change anything. Still. I still couldn't help but scream. <laughs> This time, the tears flowed. I'd been confronted with the most horrific outcome that I'd been trying to avoid considering ever since last night. And I cried. There was no longer any doubt that it was my fault. I killed them. I killed Rika and Satoko. I succumbed to the weakness of my own heart and confessed everything to Rika. That's why they were killed. That meant that I killed them. When Rika looked at me with those innocent eyes, if only I hadn't given in. I. 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 <laughs> Even my voice gave out, and yet still I cried and cried. <laughs> Shaggy, not to, how many times are you going to be playing Resident Evil tonight? <laughs> Rika and Satoko. They've been killed. We couldn't even find their remains. I would never be allowed to even apologize to their faces. If that was to be my punishment, then how brutal a punishment it was. I think Shion tried to comfort me, but I didn't hear any of it. Shion was shouting, imploring me with a voice that sounded like tears were in her eyes. However, I was coming to hate the sound of that voice more and more. Thus, Shion killed them. I had no doubts that this person killed them. Why? 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 I felt like crushing the receiver in my hand. How long did this person plan on acting like it was someone else's problem? There was magma in the pit of my stomach, and it felt like it was going to erupt at any moment. I was incoherent at this point. My emotions had broken through the dam inside of me, rushing forth, and I couldn't stop them. Cage, you were home! And he's just having a complete breakdown now. These were not the simple questions. This was an interrogation. Shion herself hadn't realized it yet. It was just too funny. It was so funny that I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> Both of our ragged breaths could be heard over the phone. おやしろ様の祟りなんて非現実的なものは初めから存在しません。ケイちゃんの言う通り、村の何者かがおやしろ様の祟りという最も悪しい大義名分を利用して渡流しの旅に殺しとしそを繰り返しているんです。奴らは
どうして村長やリカちゃんやさどこまで殺されなくちゃならないんだよそれに俺は過去のことは今さらどうでもいいんだリカちゃんとさどこがなぜ殺されなくちゃならなかったのかどうしてなんださどこには打ち上げてすらないんだぞどうしてさどこまでどうしてなんだ A silence fell between us. Shion didn't answer for a while. A sob. Was Shion crying? <laughs> It was the same for me. As I listened to Shion's bitter weeping, I could feel my agitation subsiding. Tomotake deserved better. <laughs> but but it's but there's sad music playing in the background too. She has to be legit. There was nothing fake about her words. She'd even understood how I felt. いけないことだとは分かっていましたが本当に面白半分な気持ちでふみ入ってしまいました行けないことだとは分かっていましたが本当に面白半分な気持ちちょっとした探検気分のつもりだったんです一緒に入った高野さんたちはその後すぐに
それが一体何の Shion didn't know what hospital the mayor went to. That meant it was impossible for her to have gone all the way to the hospital to confess everything. Since she didn't know his destination, then she obviously couldn't have seen him on the train either. If there was any other chance for her to contact him, it would have been after he came to Hinamizawa. The train, however, had been delayed, and he only got back right after the meeting was about to start. He didn't have time. There sh wouldn't have been enough time for him to listen to Shion spill the beans. Her sob pierced into my ears. I was taken by the illusion that I was bullying her. Even so, I'll say it. If I'm wrong, then please correct me. Please prove to me that you're the real Shion. ソンチョが失踪した日朝から消えるまでシオンには接触できる機会はありえないんだえそんなソンチョは朝一で誰にも内緒の大学病院へ一人で診察に出かけたシオンは今この病院を知らないと言っただから帰ってくるまでソンチョと接触することはできないはずだそうだろう帰りの電車が事故で遅れたので自宅に帰ってきたのは会合の始まる直前だったつまり会合が始まるまでの時間にも打ち明ける時間的余裕はないんだ。I heard Shion repeating her weak sobs. That sort of feminine voice automatically ripped into my heart. It was so painful for me to say it. Shion も一緒に会合に出たのか。そして会合の席上で打ち明けたのか。ここで打ち明けなきゃもう時間がないもんな。村長は帰宅途中で失踪するんだから。Shion went to the meeting, didn't she? Did she or didn't she? The question was so simple to answer, but she didn't give me an immediate response. えっと、実は。You didn't answer me right away. You had to think about it first, didn't you? That day, Shion was going to go to the bank. You are going to be a little bit more careful. You are going to go to the bank with me. Kei-chan, you are going to go to the bank. At that time, Shion was going to go to the bank with me. I feel like I'm waiting for an ace attorney break down here. The other end fell silent as the grave. It was so quiet that it was like the phone cord had been cut. I couldn't sense anyone there. Oishi-san,君がすでに失踪していると言っているんだ。でも、シオンはこうして毎晩俺に電話をかけてきてくれただろ。Shion's sobs were torturing me. Still, I'm pretty sure I haven't said anything wrong. Tanong, Shion, I said something wrong. If you say that, I'll tell you. Shion, I'll tell you. Shion, you're not going to meet with Sonchon. If Shion ever did have a chance to meet with the mayor on that day, then that meant. time yikes oh she's insane she's insane flipping a i was waiting for something like this all right this is an ace of dirty breakdown
and she hangs up immediately. Beep, beep, went the dial tone. I stood there dazed for a while until I realized she had hung up on me. Well, that happened. New tips unlocked, scrapbook note <laughs> 11, and at the Majom parlor. Tough call, demand the truth. Oh, wow. As much as I want to use that as a thumbnail, I feel like I shouldn't because that's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> and I don't want to put spoilers in the thumbnails. Because only evil people do that. Alright, we'll look for the tips and then I think we literally will have to end the stream there. The problem with twins. This is not limited to just Hinamizawa, but in Onigafuchi Village especially, the three families detested giving birth to twins as successors. Really? The long-term dictatorship built on the precarious balance of the three families must have feared collapsing under the weight of internal strife from fiends like family quarrels. According to the literature, if twins were born, then they had to be cold. What the F? Shaggy, stop playing Resident Evil Con Come on! With that, the very fact that both the Sonozaki family successor, Mio and Sonozaki, and her twin Shion are alive is in itself deeply interesting. Perhaps the current leader, Oreo, is sympathetic. Of course, the twins were not cared for equally, and as the heir, Mion received special treatment. Oh, wonderful! From what I've heard, despite the two of them looking exactly the same on the outside, the talent lies solely with Mion. My own observations of the two of them don't seem to leave me with that impression. Tradition dictates that the leader of the Sonozaki family is said to inherit a demon, and they tattoo a magnificent one onto his or her back. They, oh, does Mion have a tattoo? That's how you know. In accordance with the tradition, there's an extremely high possibility that Mion has such a tattoo on her back. From what I've heard, though, there is apparently a magnificent demon tattooed on Oreo's back as well. Then, I wonder what sort of tattoo belongs to the heir Mion. I really want to see her back. Well, you'll have to go to the beach episode for that one. There's probably like a DLC beach episode. It's like, hey, you want to see the girls in swimsuits? It's like, um... It's not in my top ten list of things I want to do in life. Reserved for the day. Suzu Majon Parlor. Clatter clack. Clatter <laughs> Luisi san handed over a convenience store bag with a, a carton of cigarettes in it to the old lady who owned the Majon parlor. So, and she shrewdly made herself scarce. She was used to this by now. Lovely. Everyone sitting at the Majon tables in the small parlor were Uisi's subordinates, but there were no titles or tiles laid out anywhere. Energetic responses filled the parlor. Already it had lost the atmosphere of a place of entertainment. That damn upstart chief! The veterans in the room cursed him. Sunchotachinoshisoa,yukuehumeatskaide,sekatskani he heard a few dry laughs. It wasn't anything to laugh about, but that was all they could do. いつもそうですが、事件と車のキーの閉じ込めはよく似ていますが、開けるための鍵は… <laughs> That sounds like a Bidenism. <laughs> Kuma, uh, Kuma guy, is that his name? Kuma guy? Flipped over the whiteboard. On the back was a map of the Sonozaki premises made with magnets. 
<laughs> I read I read that as I bet that's where the bodies are in the Waffle House. It could be in the Waffle House. Let me see began to count to ten and everyone counted along with him. It was their famous ten count resolution. Two. Two. Wow! <laughs> Everybody laughed uproariously, cheering things up. Ooh, dang! Getting a GTA heist going on now. あっちくんは突入米飯を敷き。監視班は1から8まで所定の位置で監視を。盆地くんは待機テーブルを厳守。少に怪しまれないよう、ローテを管理してください。さて、待機中の班が一番大仕事ですよ。課長に私の所在を